Stephen in Maryland is on the line. Thank you for calling, Steve. How are you doing? I'm not fine, sir. How about you? I'm fine, too. Thank you. Good. I'm calling. Are you guys of one of the right-wing stations? Yes. <laughs> wow. What do you and mean, I'm wow? I mean, you guys are black, too, right? Yeah, some of us are black. I'm not, but yeah. Oh, you're not black? I thought you were. You thought I was black? Yeah. Well, if I thought that that uh, white man was eight, was Mexican, then I guess I you could confuse me for being black. Oh. Yep. Uh-oh. Oh, what I called for about the guy talking about Confederacy. Yeah, the Confederacy. Yeah, and they, if they won, it would have been better better if they had won. Yeah, he speculates that it would have been better had the Confederates for won who? than the than the Northerners. Better for who? Better for who? Yeah. Better for the uh, country. Better for the whites. The whites, right. Yep. Period. Period? You don't that's think it would be better for the blacks? No. That's what I'm saying. Why not? I don't want to kill build myself in no field. You don't want to work in a field? No. Work for nothing? Well, you're older. You sound older. You're older than you would probably be in the house by now. No, 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 no. I'm, eight, I'm at really 87. I turned 87 yesterday. Really? You're 87? Yes, sir. Nice. Happy birthday. Belated. Thank you. Yeah. Belated. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I, see, what, I, what I've done in my life, see, for 30 years I was in the Air Force. Okay. And 25 of them was an air traffic controller. Really? So, yeah. So you, uh, did you do a 100% good job? I did a great job. Nice. Right Never on. had an air collision, never lost a plane. That's when they made blacks quality. That's right. They so did that's... not have domestication syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, plus I was raised, I mean, I was uh, taught in Mississippi at Keesler Air Force Base. Nice. And I've seen how they treat you guys, well, us guys, not you. Black people down in Mississippi. I saw it firsthand. They treated you like I, like tough men, non-domesticated. No, they didn't treat us like that. No, we wasn't men. We was boys. They treated you like like they treated you very harshly. They didn't treat me because I was in the air force. Oh, good. I just cruised through the town every now and then. Yeah, I didn't go off the base that often. Nice. But anyway. So yeah, they treated they, they treated blacks badly in the Mississippi back in those days. Yes, sir. Back in the fifties. How so? What'd they do? They list Emmett Till. Remember him, little boy, fourteen. He wasn't that little, but uh, yeah. He was fourteen. Who's they? The kid. That was that's two guys. Right. Allegedly. Well, look. But Allegedly. that's not right. that does that's not reflective of how blacks were treated. That's, that's one guy. That's one no, black. Jewel- That's how they Wait, treated no, one black. What about the jewelry that set them two guys free? Maybe there wasn't enough evidence to convict. It wasn't enough. Oh, come on now. I'm, I'm just guys, saying. The two, guys, the two guys came into the house and took the boy out, right? That's, what, that's the theory. I, the theory. I that's didn't see I it mean. happen. No, you wasn't there. You were not even born. I <laughs> wasn't a twinkle in my mother's eye. I don't even know That's if my right. mother was a twinkle. twinkle. <laughs> <laughs> Emmett Till went. Emmett Till happened in the fifties, right? Yeah, I saw. The, I saw the two dudes. My mother too. was alive. Your mother was alive. Oh, yeah. quite sure your mother was alive, not you. Yeah. But anyway, these two dudes. This dude was six, about five feet ten. I was saying, weighed about two hundred sixty, seventy pounds. Beating on a kid that weighed 135 pounds and was about five feet three or five feet two. How could you do something like that? That's Anybody. a fat kid if he's five foot two and weighs 125. Yeah, he wasn't fat. That's a pretty strong or a strong kid, huh. muscular kid, huh. if he weighs 125 and he's only five foot two. I seen women five feet two, five feet three, weigh 125 pounds, 130 pounds. They were really kind of thick. They, yeah, they were built. Right. <laughs> they wouldn't stick. 
Right. I mean, maybe I was, I mean, I, I was pretty short as a high schooler or somewhat, especially a younger high schooler. And I was like 112, um, 120, 135, 145. Uh, so who is this? Was this, who are you talking about? Are you, you witnessed a, a beating? No, I haven't witnessed, I, no, anybody witnessed it. Are you talking about Emmett Till still? I was just talking about Emmett Till. Oh, Okay. That's how they treat the black folk down in the But hey, state. she was he was allegedly mistreating the woman. He didn't do my whistle. It wasn't merely a whistle, according to uh what some people that say. That woman lied. She she said it in her death on her deathbed that he didn't touch her at all. She did not say that on her deathbed. I don't believe you, man. You're just making you're just say repeating Come on, a mischaracterization of what you heard. You sound like my caller Mays, my favorite caller. You, you mean tell me you think he touched that white woman? He might have. I don't know. Well, For some, the, there was some like reason that. that she went out to get her gun, and that's when he left. Well, she whistled at her. He, no, he it wasn't just a whistle, according to her and according to other people. Yeah. What other? If people? it was just a whistle, why would she get her gun? I don't know. So then, why why are you believing that it was merely a whistle? <laughs> That's what they do down there. You know what's going on. Lord, it was a two-way street. Blacks and whites were mistreating one another. No, he was. And he was Come one on. person, not black people. Come on, man. He was one. That's what one black? person. You uh, never heard I, of any white person, black person, treating a white person wrong down south. Oh no, that's not true. There were mur- there were murders, there were rapes and thefts. That was the accusation. Yeah, same I'm, thing with you, uh, Emmett Till. That's an accusation. That's true. Yeah. I got to run, Stephen and Marilyn. I like talking with you. Call me again sometime. I got to end. Okay. All right. I'll take care. Bye. What a nice man. Can't we all just get along?